In this le lesson, I want to talk about kindness. Kindness begins with treating other people thoughtfully and respectfully. But it even extends beyond those practices by going out of your way to serve people, by offering a helping hand, lifting a burden, or even providing a shoulder for somebody to cry on. From research, we know that happy people more frequently do acts of kindness for loved ones and strangers. For example, happy people are more likely to shop for a sick friend, do somebody else's job, give a homeless person a meal, maybe help somebody with a flat tire on the side of the road. Science also tells us that these acts of kindness humanize us. They lift us emotionally and spiritually. They're good for our mental and emotional health. They unleash our energy and release serotonin and oxytocin, which makes us feel a high or gives us a spike in happiness. And then the body responds to this high produced by the brain by increasing a chemical called nitric oxide, which expands the vessels of our hearts and thereby improves heart rate and circulation and reduces blood pressure. Acts of kindness lower stress. They reduce the likelihood that we'll have physical illnesses and, and even lower inflammation in the body and thereby prolong aging. Well, we also know that people of average happiness will become happier by deliberately practicing kindness. Let me mention just one study. One researcher by the name of Yuen, Y-U-E-N, and others in 2008 assigned older adults into one of two groups, a group that offered volunteer service for three months and a control group that did not, just went about their usual business. At the end of the trial, the researchers found that those who volunteered scored higher on a number of indices of mental health, mental well-being, than those who did not participate in service. And these effects persisted three months after the end of the trial, indicating that the benefits of volunteering may be long-lasting. By the way, even witnessing others being kind can release the same kind of feel-good chemicals that doing an act of kindness can produce. Not as much as, this, is, as if you do the act of kindness yourself, but being a witness to kindness makes us feel better nonetheless. In fact, there's a video. Let's watch this video and you'll see what I mean. A simple act of kindness found me a simple act of kindness saved me A simple act of kindness brought me home Well, I don't know if you could see, there was a soul inside of me. If not for the kindness of a friend, well, maybe now you couldn't tell, but I'd be just an empty shell. If not for the
Well, now and then I feel the sting of almost losing everything. If not for the kindness of a friend, yeah, yeah. I know how dark a human heart can be out there, but now I know compassion was the only. So how did you feel as you watched these acts of kindness? Did you feel a boost in your feelings of love, appreciation, perhaps your overall mood? This is the powerful effect that doing acts of kindness can have upon us. So I encourage you to look for opportunities to be kind. You'll experience the rewards almost immediately. One small act of kindness can release an enormous chain of positive events. And the miracle of kindness is that it's contagious, something that we want to pass on and spread to others. It's truly a way to start a positive cycle of paying it forward and making the world a better place. I want to conclude with this lecture by uh, just sharing with you a few ideas about how to go about you know, showing kindness, and I'm sure that you can come up with just as many. I'm sure you'll have many more, as a matter of fact, many of your own. But you can visit somebody who's sick or homebound. You can help a co-worker or a friend with a problem or project. You can buy a treat for someone or send a handwritten note or a thank you card. Maybe pick up litter around your neighborhood. Help somebody, perhaps an elderly person, carry their groceries to their car. Do a favor for a neighbor without even being asked. Maybe water their garden, trim their hedges, bake a treat and give it to somebody. Leave a generous tip. The list can go on and on, and I encourage you to come up with your own list and then commit to consciously doing more acts of kindness and notice the impact on others as well as yourself. 